Hey there everyone and let's get started in here with the React.js. Now I expect that in the last movie, you followed me up and we have discussed a little bit about how the app structure works on. So as I told you in the last video that app.js is going to be our meat file where we'll be working quite a lot and in here we have got just one component or one class that is app and app is being exported here as well. And the same is being found in the index.js so it says import app from dot slash app that means we are importing that component and here we are rendering that component sounds simple now let's try to do it on ourselves as well we'll be doing this in this video as well as in the next video as well so what i want you to do is uh, one more thing before we proceed that whenever you create any class or component uh, there you can see a return keyword now this return keyword uh, can actually only take or can return one division there as well or simply one element as well. Now you might be saying, hey, it's returning so many things. It's returning paragraph, it's returning h2. But I would say on a whole, just look at this div. This is just returning a div. And if in case you just come back here and you can see, hey, there is a so much h1 and h2. And I would like to return two components here. Uh, one would be just simply h2 and one would be division. Oh, that's good, but that's not good. As I save it, it will surely break my application. And it says adjacent JSX element must be wrapped in an enclosing tag and you got your first error. Now that's great because now we understand that, hey, this return can only return one element. And you might haven't noticed that, you might be thinking that this is simply a HTML, that there is no big deal, but actually you already have been working with the JSX. Now, how cool is that? Because it just looks like an HTML, no big deal there. Now, in this video, we will learn and look out how we can create our own components. Sounds exciting, yes, it is. So let's go there and I'll create a little bit space before I export my app. And uh, what I'll be writing, I'll say R C O M for components. And notice it automatically suggests me because I have saved the default in my simple snippet file and I'll hit the tab key. And notice automatically it fills a lot of things and place my cursor where we had the dollar one. Remember from the last movie? So that's good. In case you are using some other editor, you have to write all of this. So I'll just pause the movie there and write all of this. So I'll write uh, two things here. Uh, our component can be divided into two parts, uh, the app header and app intro. So we'll call this as header. We'll call this as intro. So again, notice the rule is the first letter should be capital. So it's going to be header and I'll hit the tab key and it brings me into the division here. So what I'll be doing, I'll be moving everything in the app header and I'll just cut that with command X and I'll paste it in here in this division. And voila, I have created my first component, but notice it just removed everything. Now the reason for that is we have actually created a component, but we haven't called the component here. Now, if you want to call a component here in this case, because we are defining other component in the same file, we don't have to do that import thing. We are not importing from anywhere. We have to just call this header. Now calling this header is just like calling a BR tag, but since it's not a BR tag, it's a component, you have to just write the component name. So for example, this should be like this. And obviously it should be self-closing tag. You got that. And then we have got simply a header there. Save that and notice our application is back and cool. Okay, sounds good. You have created your first component. That's so simple. Now let's just do that again. And this time you're going to do before me. So you're going to move this P tag into a separate component. You'll name it as intro and just do that. So pause the movie there and do it before me. Okay, how did that go? I think it's it got really good. So what I'll be doing, I'll be using again my shortcuts there. And what I'll be doing is RCOM for components, hit the tab key there and notice it got there. And notice I, I have to write intro there and make sure that I should be capital. And as soon as I got there, I hit I have to hit the tab key. So it got automatically at the div place there. In case you are wondering how that got there, go to the atom, click on the snippets 
and the reason why it's going there is because i have written dollar one here and dollar two there if you want your cursor to be going somewhere else place like here you can write dollar three here and on the next tab it will go there sounds simple okay and now let's just try to remove this and what we will be doing oops this is the guy so we'll be moving this p tag i'll hit command x there and i'll be going here and i'll be pasting it here and i'll save that again it will broke my application nothing will be there can you guess the reason yep because we haven't called the intro in here so how we can do that it's pretty simple we have already done that go into your main class which is app and in here we are gonna call this guy so we are gonna say intro and it should be self-closing now i'll tell you one more uh, error here which is quite common so right now our application is good now many times you will get some input tags or maybe other tags and you will forget to close them like for example like this now this will surely break your app and it's gonna say hey uh, gsx always expect a closing tag there so it's gonna broke the things here now our html is quite uh, liberative there it gives us the liberty of not closing but in this you don't get that you have to always close now it can be self-closing but uh, it it can be uh, simply uh, other part now, let me show you a quick example of that now for example i am writing some tags uh, like for example if i'm just saying uh, a p tag in the html file you can just write a p tag and i'll i'll just write a p tag there and i'll say uh, something like hey there and i'll save that and notice it will again break my application but as soon as i close that tag no matter it's a self-closing tag or whether i close it manually by other tag it just says hey you need to close it i save that and notice it says hey there so quite a valuable lessons that you have learned in this class and you have what you have learned is first of all that our main component always return just one thing and that one thing can be wrapped into a divisions and inside that you can have many many things but it should just return one and also you have learned your very first component creation again i would say uh, have a look have a detailed look on how things are written here not just because i have given you a snippet file you can always use them for sure you can use that but again uh, having a co close look on this is going to be really really helpful okay so that's it for this video in the next video again we'll be creating components but not this way we'll be creating them uh, via a different method so let's just go there and try to break this application a little bit more